Well, welcome back. Well, getting health care and getting it quick is important no matter where you live. And joining us this morning, or we're very excited to have you, is Neil Kelly, Vice President and Chief Operating Officer for Seton in Luling. Uh, an area that needs health care just as much as we need here in Austin. What are some of the challenges, though, in some of the rural areas? Because we've got a lot of them surrounding uh, Central Texas. Absolutely. Access to care can be a challenge. Uh, there's fewer doctors, obviously, and the geography, people are more spread out. They live in these rural communities, rural areas, and transportation can be an issue. So right now, the, the big challenge is recruiting physicians to these areas and being able to have that access to care that perhaps you have in the city, but in the country it can, it can be a, a problem to, to get those providers to see patients in those communities. Mm -hmm. What do you see in some of these small rural areas when you open up a new facility? Usually the, the demand is pretty, is pretty robust. Uh, every time we open a clinic in a, in a town like Luling or Lockhart or um, Bastrop, we see a, a pretty big demand. It doesn't take long to fill the schedule and for, for people to get the word that there's a new physician or a new clinic in town. Yeah, what about the capability? Because um, for more serious situations, uh, they may, may need to be you know, transported into Austin or flown into Austin or whatever the case might be. So talk about maybe the differences sure. there. Sure. Well, we're fortunate at Seton because we have the larger hospitals that we're associated with. We're a member of that family. So, But you're right that uh, in these rural areas, we provide about 80% of anything everyone will need in their lifetime. So um, most of the basic primary hospital care that you can, you can get there. But on the occasion when there's a more complex patient uh, or a situation where there's, tr there's trauma or a heart condition or something that requires that complex care, we generally transport those patients into one of our larger facilities in Austin or even our new medical center in Kyle. Mm -hmm. We've got a, about a minute longer. Tell us about the Caravan program that a lot of people may not be aware is out there. We're really fortunate. We, uh, in partnership with the Michael and Susan Dell Foundation, they gave us a very generous gift to start a program where we custom built a, um, a mobile unit that can go to area schools and churches and see kids, pediatric patients, um, for well child checks and immunizations and, uh, and even sick care. Uh, and and it, it takes that transportation challenge away and lets people have access to care where they live, where they go to school, where they go to church. It's an exciting program that we're very, very proud of. Got it, taking it to them. That's correct. All right, well, thank you so much for being here early on this Saturday morning. Good information for, thank you for, having for everyone. Me. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, we're going to kick it over to David now with a look at the weather.